Hey there YouTubers. So in this video we are going to show you how to install a video card in your Dell Inspiron 3670. Alright, so um, quite a few choices for video cards that you could put in this. I'll just name off a few that I'm aware of. Um, GT 1030, um, GTX 1050, GTX 1050 Ti, uh, RX 460, RX 550, RX 560B, RX 560. All those should work. Now, when I say should, you uh, in the current state of this drive you want to find one that does not require PCI Express power so this card here happens to be a AMD RX 560 Bravo and it does not require um, the 6 pin or 8 pin PCI so just in case you don't know what I'm talking about let me grab another video card so this guy here is a 570. Uh, we also have a 580 here and like seven other cards, but um, just so you can see it, of course, I flipped it over to the wrong side. This is an 8 pin connector, okay? Uh, which probably means that this sucker is going to draw a lot more power, right? And you can type in your video card and see what the uh, minimum power supply they recommend is. Now, for this computer, though, unfortunately, it does not have the 6 and 8 pin PCI uh, power. Now, is there something you can do about that? Of course. And on this uh, channel, we will eventually upgrade the shit out of this thing. So, you will see, um, first we'll probably get one of the uh, higher power um, Dell power supplies. We'll put that in. One of those, I think, has a 6 pin um, we won't be able to run our RX 580, but we'll find some other video card that we can put in there. And then, um, most likely, I will try putting in a, a 500 watt or 600 watt power supply. And we will uh, get the necessary 24 pin to 8 pin uh, in there and uh, do some other things to make it work. So, but those are future videos. This video. We're just going to do a real simple installation. So the first thing I want to do, because it's not really smart to work on these when they're plugged in, you want to pull out the power cable. Get out of there or unplug it from the wall. Ooh, I'm getting weak in my old age. Um, then we've got two screws on the back here. Boom, boom. To save time, I've already taken them out. That slides off. Then we're going to put this on its side. Now, um, good thing to do is wait till your warranty's up before you uh, start screwing with these things. And in this case, uh, my warranty's not going to be up for a while, but whatever. Um, so some of these computers I do get, uh, people will actually send them to me. And if you're watching this and you'd like me to check out your computer, do a review, do whatever, uh, contact me on the about for that but I did buy this and uh, I actually got a hell of a deal on it hence why I bought it and you'll probably see in the future uh, we'll we'll do a RAM upgrade video which while we're in here it's pretty simple to do uh, we will change out the CPU at some point um, I've already did a video on adding another hard drive um, or the additional location of another hard drive, we should say, because uh, the one thing I'm missing is the uh, splitter for uh, running additional power. But there's a stock uh, one terabyte hard drive that come with it. And then here is a uh, 2.5 inch, which eventually I will swap that out for a uh, SSD. All right, so now we need to pop out one of these guys, probably two. Let's see. No, sometimes you need to pop out two of those aluminum things. This is a single slot. So I'm just going to line this up to see which one needs to go out. Okay. 
and it's right there. And usually with cyclic stress, these things will pop out, but uh, there we go. So we just needed to pop it a little. You want to hold on to that because you do not want that piece just flying into the motherboard and damaging something. All right, so once we do that, our warning is probably shot. But hey, as long as the CPU doesn't die. For what I paid for this computer, folks, um, you know me, I'm a freaking bargain hunter. I, as long as the CPU doesn't go down, I'll be happy. So this is kind of hard working from the angle I'm at with the camera in the way. All right, so um, hopefully you saw what I just did there. Yeah, I should pull that back out, but uh, we popped it into the PCI slot there. And you want to make sure it's seated good. And you can do that by visually looking at it from the side. If you see any gaps, um, you don't want to see any gaps down in this area. So it's in there good. Now, um, if we had a... So this one is different than some of the others. Um, we probably, we could screw that in or we can uh, just put this, tighten this back on here. And I'm gonna choose to do the latter. Because I will probably, knowing me, put a different video card in here at some point. Um, we do have access to a 1050 Ti, an RX 460 that we can run in this without modifying anything else. And I'll probably make some videos on that. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is going to work, folks, the way it is. Um, because I've done this enough times. Pop that back on. Now, now we want to find our screws to put the, uh, the side back on. Alright, so these aren't the actual ones that came with it. I like these a lot better. Um, I don't know why everybody doesn't give you these. This came off one of my custom builds. So if you watch this channel, you know I do a lot of custom build computers. You're probably thinking, why in the hell is this guy building this thing? Or not building this, but uh, buying this thing when the other computers I make are a lot more powerful. Um, that's simple, folks, because uh, I need to help out the everyday user. I feel it's my mission. All right, so that's there. Now we want to put the plug power back in. And at this point, I could almost say this video is just about over. Um, <clears throat> so at this point, if you had a driver disc, you would load up your driver disc. And... Uh, in this case, though, oh, this video card did not come with a driver disc, so we'll have to go online and get it. Um, <clears throat> now, of course, um, you want to plug your HDMI cable into your new video card or used video card. Uh, a lot of times you buy these cards on eBay. And you find out that they are actually, um, they don't come with the disc. All right, so one thing to note with this computer, um, which is way different than uh, a lot of the other Intel uh, motherboards. You want to, uh, like I said, have the HDMI plugged into your video card and uh, make sure it's not still on the, uh, the motherboard. Um, this, this computer, if it's like the 3470 and it appears it is, will allow you to plug in a video card into uh, both locations. Or excuse me, not a video card. 
it will allow you to plug an HDMI cable uh, into both locations. So you can uh, do dual screens relatively easy with HDMI. Now, uh, you may be limited in resolution or uh, other factors. Um, depending on how good your graphics card might be, you might be able to run um, the resolution higher than 4K, and uh, or you may not be able to run 4K. Um, so, a lot of things. So, it looks like it booted up, and uh, now let me just show you, if you were to buy this graphics card, um, If you were to buy this graphics card, assuming it comes up anytime soon, Alright, so apologize for the uh, lines on the screen. I've actually had to um, expand quite a bit, so I have so much stuff in my office that I have to go out to the basement kitchen and work. And uh, this was the only spare monitor we had sitting around. But uh, yeah, to find the drivers, very simple. I would just type in RX 560B drivers and takes you to AMD it doesn't appear that they have much of a difference between their drivers but this card is um, pretty similar to a 460 so then you would click on download and then you'd install and um, I'm gonna spare you guys watching that there's not a whole lot of excitement to that um, so that ends this video hopefully got something out of it hopefully enjoyed if you did, please like, please subscribe, and watch out for more Dell Inspiron 3670 uh, videos. Thank you.